Okay, come to the cable then. Yeah, pound versus the US dollar. The pound is the pound's gone through bouts of you know weakness. It's had a some little bit of strength of late, but broadly speaking, in the in the grand scheme of things, it's it's hasn't gone very far um, this year. Now, again, uh, it's less it's less sensitive than the the euro dollar. We've got interestingly round where we are in the price action now. Either side, we have a couple of relevant levels that we can accommodate into our trade plan. First of which, which is pretty much where, well, we're trading there right now, 162.98. This high here, which is really the equivalent of the 142.87 in the euro dollar, you remember what the euro dollar looked like, a big significant turning point in the market, 142.87, above which we have the 143.33. In this cable, we have the 162.98, and above this level, we have the 164.37, which is this high. It then is the low before we reach the the highs of the year and coming back to the recent price action over the w last week it represents the high made three or four days ago so this presents us with a, a good opportunity on the long side and the short side without the market having to do much before it gets to either point so taking the short side which I think that's where Certainly, if we get if we get a rally in the dollar, that's the that's the direction we'll be looking at. Um, we're not predicting a dollar rally, by the way. We just don't need to have provision for it if we if this uh, is very sensitive to the situation in the U.S. So the cable then, the structural short is 162.98, indicated by this line here, and it's this high. The structural long is 164.38 which is these two levels and the near term momentum high made this week so structural long 164.37 structural short 162.98 going into the 200 tick then here as you can see we can see our two structural points on the chart now we've made a low we've made a low just below the 162.98 so coming to the market now we're going to accommodate that into our near term trade plan and the short point then from here is the 162.60 indicated by the red line so the 162.60 is the short, and this makes a, this gives us a really clear stop. Our stop, we're selling below here. Our stop wants to accommodate our structural point. So the short stop is going to be the 162.98, or just the other side of it. So you're selling here. Your stop wants to be the other side of the 162.98. You can see how. We respected that point here, and now, right as we speak, the market's traded up to it and has just moved down from it. So, so far, so good, and we have a bias to the downside. But in terms of taking the long, our long will be the move above the 62.98. But if we if we hold above the 62.98. We want to see if there's another reference point that's going to give us a cleaner entry, and it's going to be this two-day low here. So 
we're going to see we're going to take the 163.12 as the long point so the long point is the 163.12 and our stop then our long stop is going to be accommodating the two daily lows and the structure so going long at the 160 312 we're going to have our stop at we'll take the 162.80 so we'll give it a little bit of room okay so going long here we are placing our stop at 162.80 so it's good to have the 162.98 significant point from the daily lining up through our 200 tick chart. So the long point is 163.12. Let's put a green line in there. 163.12 then. it is in green that indicates the buy we're pretty close to it if we're going along at 163.12 we're going to have our stop 162.80 going short at 162.60 we're going to have our stop at the structure 162.98 I mean if you want to if you if you're happy to have your stop to accommodate the two daily lows then by all means it's going to be a little bit safer if you're having your stop actually the other side of the buy point it's just going to you're going to the market is going to have to get through two levels rather than one okay so this is this is quite a good clean setup and it's it's one of low risk we just we might get a bit of noise. I mean, the 162.98 is a is a is a big level, so we just might get some some noise around here because it's a decision making point. It's a decision making point for for us as well as other people because it's proven by the by the price action. It's proven by the significance from our daily chart at that level. So if we're making decisions around it, other people will too, and. So to accommodate a little bit of noise, you know, we have to. We're taking our. We're taking our appropriate points. Either side of, of that level. Okay, that's the cable.